a period that lasts for one or two days. What could cause this? You have been seeing your periods and your periods have been very normal. You've been seeing your periods in a regular cycle, but all of a sudden your periods have been adjusted. Your periods have changed. They've gone to one day or two days. What is the cause of this change? What has made your periods to go to one day or two days? In this video, we are going to talk about all this. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel and on this channel, we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. The road to Genda Pogera Ku, Echibuz Echibuzidua, Enyo, Bobadola period zo, Ngazitambula Burunji, Nayate, Akasera Katini Nyo Gendo Kolabanga, period zo zichuse, Eyalia Laba period zo, Oburunji, Gendo Kolabanga, Te, or Zilaba Muruna Kurumu, or Nakubiri, Che Echiretera and Bereno. We are talking about what makes your periods to change from normal to at least to only one day or two days so when you see your periods in a regular cycle it means that your body functions are very okay it means that your hormones are in balance they are balancing very well but if all of a sudden your periods change You've been seeing them for four days, three days, or even five days, but they go to one day. Then it means there's a problem. Wabango badu laba period zonga zitambula bulunji, na yato ogendo kula wanga te zichuse. Ogendo kula wanga te kati ziri kuduna kulumu, oba na kubiri. Chipa chitegeza oliwe chizibu. The first re reason why your periods have changed and they have gone to at least only one day, you are seeing your periods for only one day, it could be that... Number one, you could be pregnant. Pregnancy is among the leading causes of why you may see your periods changing all of a sudden. This is what we call spotting or implantation bleeding. When the egg has been fertilized, when the egg has been fertilized and this egg has traveled the whole distance through your fallopian tube and it has attached or implanted onto your uterine wall then it means that you are going to see what we call implantation bleeding or spotting wongo bade wafunye olubuto e nsonga esoke wako okulaba periods zonga zichuse wawinzo kubanga wafunye olubuto ngate olubuto olo wawinzo kubanga wafunye olubuto ngate olubuto olo lula ganti kwe gamba or a period zonga zirimu na kurumu or gendo gendo kura bangate or rubuto bevimu bietso rokubanga to televisa and to one debango of your rubuto that's why obola and the periods is chuka chuka the first reason why you may see your periods lasting for only one day is that you could be pregnant so pregnancy is the first reason why your periods could change to only one day or two days the next reason why you could be seeing your periods for only one day or even two days is that you could be having a miscarriage a miscarriage is simply it is a miscarriage means that this is a failure of a pregnancy to proceed beyond 20 weeks of gestation if your pregnancy does not cross or it does not go up to 20 weeks some in some countries they say 25 weeks but if your pregnancy does not proceed beyond 20 weeks, then it means that you could be having a miscarriage. So, do not ignore that blood you see for only one day or two days. Chances are that you could be pregnant, but all of a sudden, because you did not know that you're pregnant, the pregnancy ends up into a miscarriage, also known as uh, a chemical pregnancy. Ebi esonge yoke yoku bidedi nto soro kula period zonga zifuruma orina kolumo na yato inzo kubango bado lirubuto nengo lirubuto luvudemo. Next reason why your period lasts for only one day or two days is that birth control pills or birth control medication. You could be on family planning medications or birth control medications and among the side effects of uh, birth control medications are uh, that they actually alter your hormones. Since they do primarily uh, contain hormonal ingredients, they 
if these are taken into your body in form of tablets or in form of injections then they are going to alter your hormonal levels when we talk about the hormones we are talking about the follicle stimulating hormone also known as the fsh and then the luteinizing hormone also known as uh, LH. So these hormones play a very important uh, function in bringing about pregnancy, in regulating your periods. So if your periods change, it could be a reason of birth control pills. Remember, we have talked about, we are talking about why your period has changed to one day or two days when previously you were having regular periods. The first reason is you could be pregnant. Next reason is you could be having a miscarriage. Next reason is you, you could actually be on birth control pills and, and this is among the effects of birth control medications. Remember to subscribe so that you do not miss any new videos we release every day. Next point why your periods have changed to only one day is that you could be having excessive stress. When a woman is stressed excessively, there's going to be an effect on her hormonal levels and this effect specifically brings about changes in how she's going to see her periods. So excessive stress leads to production of a hormone known as cortisol and this is a hormone which is going to disrupt your period so if you are highly stressed if you are seeing your periods for only one day there are high chances that you could be undergoing or you could be having excessive stress it is high time you worked on this so that your periods can go back to normal you, you may not need medications but just work on the stress reduce stress we call it distressing your periods will go back to normal next reason why your periods are being seen for only one day or for only two days when previously they were normal is that you could be having a condition known as polycystic ovarian syndrome abbreviated as PCOS in polycystic ovarian syndrome a woman a woman's body releases high levels of a male hormone known as testosterone and because the male hormone is being released in very high levels then it means that your body is going to adopt futures which are of a male you are going to actually begin seeing beards coming out of you i mean you a woman developing beards and, and then also there could be a condition known as hasatism hasatism basically means growth of hair around the breasts the woman's body grows hair and then next when you do an ultrasound scan, your doctor for ultrasound or your sonographer will actually see lots of small swellings, more than nine of them on each of your ovaries. If these are seen on, on ultrasound, there are high chances that you could be having what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome. Next reason why you may be seeing your periods for only one day is that you could be having what we call cervical stenosis. Cervical stenosis, also known as narrowing of the cervix, it has a direct effect on your periods. If at all you see your periods for only one day, you actually should have yourself checked up by your doctor or your gynecologist because actually this could mean that your cervix is narrowing. Cervical stenosis can only be confirmed by doing what we call a vaginal examination, also known as a VE, where your doctor or your gynecologist will get an instrument known as a speculum, and then they will examine physically how your cervix is. Is it narrowed? Is it narrowing? Uh, and or oh, it is actually having other issues. Next reason why you may be seeing your periods for only one day is that you could be having what we call Asherman syndrome. Asherman syndrome specifically means a woman develops scars in her womb, in her uterus, or in her cervix. Presence of scar tissue. In Uganda, we call it enkovo inside the uterus as a result of having repeated 
abortions if at all a woman has or undergoes repeated miscarriages and then um, removal is done by these machines known as by these instruments known as uh, uh, the dilatation through a procedure known as the dilatation and curettage or through manual vacuum aspiration that is a removal of remained products of pregnancy using instruments if at all the doctor or the clinician doing this procedure uh, makes a mistake or um, it damages part of your uterus, there's going to be scar tissue which is going to develop. And, and this is directly going to lead to your periods changing. Next reason why you may be seeing your periods for only, uh, only one day is that you could be having what we call pituitary disorders. Your pituitary gland is that small part inside your brain. It has many, many functions for uh, to, for it, it plays a very big or it, play, it plays a variety of functions for you to survive normally. But in this particular case, we are talking about women's health. So the pituitary gland specifically produces hormones. But remember, before it produces these hormones, it has to be stimulated by another part of your brain known as the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus releases what we call the gonadotropin releasing hormone, which stimulates the anterior pituitary gland to release two hormones. That is the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone, which travel to your ovaries and then bring about or the regulation. It brings about the reg regulation of your period. So, if at all you have pituitary disorders, for example, uh, pituitary dysfunction, for example, an overactive pituitary gland or an underactive pituitary gland, there's going to be a direct effect on your period. So, if you see your period for one day, please do not sit home and imagine things are normal. You should go and have yourself checked out. Do the fertility hormonal screen test to screen and see whether your hormones are balancing. Next reason why you are seeing your periods for one day is that you could actually be having what you call age related changes in your uh, menstrual, uh, menstrual cycle so if at all a lady or a young girl is, is just beginning her period we call it entering puberty or when she gets menarche that is her mass her first menses or her first period there are high chances that there's going to be irregularity in her periods. You don't need to worry. Later on, these periods will stabilize. If you're a young girl and you've just started your periods, please do not worry. You've seen your periods for one day. It should not stress you. They're going to uh, go back to normal. But if this persists, still you need to have yourself uh, talk to your parents so that you can be checked out. The other reason uh, related to age, how age can bring about changes in your periods is that you could actually be uh, having what we call perimenopause, perimenopausal syndrome. In simple terms, it means that you could begin, you could be actually beginning your menopause very early. According to the Cleveland Clinic in the US, research, studies were done and it was confirmed that women actually nowadays are beginning their menopause very early in their 30s or in their late 30s or even in their early 40s. So the things of saying that, uh, this issue of saying that uh, you're going to see your menopause when you're 50, 55, things have changed. So if you see your periods for only one day, please have yourself checked out. It could be early menopause bringing about this, also known as perimenopause. Next reason for seeing your periods for one day is that you could actually be having what you call an ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy also known as an extra uterine pregnancy means that the, you got pregnant implantation uh, takes place but instead of taking place inside your uterus it takes place outside your uterus an ectopic pregnancy is also known as an extra uterine pregnancy pregnancy outside the uterus so normally the first signs of knowing that you are having an ectopic pregnancy is that you're going to have what you call severe pelvic pain or you'll be having pain in your lower abdomen and then also you'll actually be having vaginal bleeding if you are a woman and you see you experience lower abdominal pain you experience vaginal bleeding then please kindly have yourself checked out it could, could be that you are having pelvic pain 
And lastly, we are talking about uh, the reasons why you are seeing your periods for one day. It could be that you are breastfeeding. When a woman is breastfeeding, then there are high chances that she will see her periods for one day. And lastly, oh, oh, we are about to finish. The next reason is that you could be having rapid weight loss or you could be having rapid weight gain. Eating disorders, for example, anorexia nervosa and anorexia bulimia, these actually do have an effect on your hormones. A woman loses weight very fast. There are high chances that her periods will change. And then, of course, we have what we call the pelvic inflammatory disease. It also brings about uh, changes in your periods. You should have yourself checked out. Do you have any questions in regards to what we've just talked about? Would you like to know more about fertility, about how you can get pregnant faster naturally? Just head down to the comment section and then ask your question. I will answer your question. I can even go ahead and do a video on it when I'm answering it. Just like I'm doing, uh, just like I've... Ovulation is the release of a mature egg known as a graphian follicle on the 14th day of your menstrual cycle. This egg goes on and it gets fertilized. When it is fertilized, this very egg goes on and grows into a baby. Now, when this egg attaches itself onto your uterine wall or your womb, we call this an intrauterine pregnancy. If this fertilized egg remains in your tubes or your fallopian tubes, then it becomes what we call an ectopic pregnancy. If this egg is attached onto your uterine wall, it grows into a pregnancy, there will be a gestational sac or the sac of the baby, but if the embryo fails to go into the sac, then we call this a blighted ovum. Do you have any questions about fertility? Would you like to know about pregnancy? How you can get pregnant faster? Have you been asking yourself, why are you feeling that abdominal pain? Then you are in the right place. On this channel, we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. Gerard Massa, the health educator, are my names, are the names of the channel, and I welcome you for this lesson today. Remember to ask me all your questions down below in the comments, and I will answer all your questions definitely very fast. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have learned something in today's video lesson. If you have any question about fertility, about reproductive health, or about how you can get pregnant faster, naturally, then just go down the comment section of this video and ask your question. I will answer all your questions. Nisanyu senyo mkwano kwa ange, okubango bade na ferero, oba ina chibuzo chona chona, echi kwa dagana ku video jola vya dero, oba oyagala okubanga mkudamu, beira anga ombuza yubuzo vyo mu comments, eza video eno, nja kubwa mkudamu. Remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day. And then also remember to hit the like button so that we reach more people here on YouTube. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day and remember to donate to support our work. May God bless and protect us all. Bye-bye.